All right, we're going to do Bumpin' Uglies today. Um, I don't know why this song is not more popular than this. It's a really pretty song, pretty guitar, and the guitar is not real bad to pick up on. Um, but you're going to go standard tuning, capo third fret, and you're going to start. I'll play the intro for you, go through the intro, and then we'll take the rest of it. Intro is a little bit more, there's more picking to it, but it's not that bad. You'll get a hang of it. But here it is. All right, so you're starting in D, and you're going to play from the fourth string down, or up, I should say. Then you're going to catch the low note with your G. It's your third fret E string. And then this goes into the hammer-on part, which is going to be a hammer-on and a pull-off on your second fret. Which seems like a lot, but when you're in your G shape, your index finger's right there to pick it up. And then back into your D. But this time, instead of going to your E, you're going to go and put your pinky down on your D, on your high E string. Yep. Then it starts over, and you're going back to the G one, which would be... No pinky on the last one. You just strum it down. And that's the end of the intro. Um, and then get into the verse. Same general chords. be a D, G, B minor, which if you're newer, that one could be kind of tough to get to. B minor and an A. And bass progression, and, you know, the strumming is important to it, but the style of music it is and the variations of it, it's not wildly important. If you know the song, you know the beat. It's... It's not bad, but start on the D chord, G, back to D. And I like to throw that one in there when you go back to D the second time, so. And then you're going to your B minor, A, D. And then on this one, the last time you hit the G, you give it the hammer on. A. So that's like one cycle of the verse. So to do it one more time, regular speed is. And then, if you're singing with the song, playing it, you play that exact same thing one more time. So to run through it would be. So now on this one, this is kind of the bridge, if you will. Instead of going, playing it again, this leads into the chorus. So when you're on that last D, so after you play the D. Now you're gonna go into A. Oh, look, you don't know what the name of this chord is, but you're gonna go index finger, first fret, second string, then your second fret, third string down, and then your high E also on the second fret. Let's see you go. Sounds a lot, it's not. It's your high string, your high E. Hammer on pull off on the high E, third or your third fret. And then your B string, third fret as well with your pinky. And then open, out of context, sounds weird. Falls in the song well. Back in your G, and this is what starts the chorus. So I'll play it through on that last one again so you can hear how that fits in. But. So this starts the chorus, which is mostly down shown. That is it. 
So to run you through that one, starting from G. A. B minor. And then an E. E minor C. In this one, when he plays the song, strum it once, you let it, he rings out all the way until he kind of switches into his G. And then your A to finish it. And back into the intro. And then if you're playing the full song, it's the exact same thing. You go straight to the first verse with the... Play it twice, and then again with the weird shape, and the same chorus as the outro. That should give you everything you need. I hope it helped.